Okay, so in this video, I want to show you how to do a linear programming problem, such as I have over here in this uh, document. Maximize a function, 3x1 plus 2x2 minus x3, subject to these uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 constraints. But we're going to use Excel's solver to solve this instead of setting up the simplex method. So um, if you haven't done so yet, you want to make sure to um, install Excel Solver. Uh, that's the first thing you want to do. I already have it installed, but I'll show you how to do it. Click on the file in the upper left, Options, and then over here there'll be an Add-ins tab. Click on that, and towards the top you want to do a Solver Add-in, and there should be an Install button. Again, it's already installed on my version of Excel, but make sure you add Excel's Solver. Okay, so once you've added Excel Solver, let's go back to the um, linear optimization, linear programming problem we have here, uh, maximizing this function. So I'm going to set up the spreadsheet uh, similar to how the textbook does this. So I'm going to type in variables, and uh, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to put a highlight here. And now in this example, we have three variables, x1, x2, x3. And just to start this off, I'm going to make them all zero. You can make them whatever you want, but I'll make them zero right here. The next thing I'm going to type in is the objective. So the objective in this example, we want to maximize. And now I'm going to enter in this function p. So I'm going to start with an equals. 3 times x1. I'm going to click on uh, the cell b2 up here, plus 2 times x2, and the value is going to go in b3. Finally, minus x3, which is b4 in my spreadsheet. And I'm going to click on enter, and that's going to be 0. And then I want to add in the constraints. All right, so the constraints, I'm going to go right over here. All right, the number of constraints, two, three, four, five, six. There are six constraints total. And I'm going to do equality just to set up. The first constraint, start with an equal sign, is going to be x1 plus 3 times x2 plus x3, click on enter, and the inequality that is a less than or equal to, and then I'm going to click on a 9, right up here I'll type in an RHS, or right hand side. For the second constraint I want to type that in, I'm going to do it equals 2 times x1, plus 3 times x2, and then a minus x3, click on enter. And that's going to be a greater than or equal to, right hand side would be 2. Third constraints right here equals 3 times x1 minus 2 times x2 plus x3. Click on enter, and that's going to be greater than or equal to 5. All right, so there are, there's a shortcut on these last constraints. I'll show you in a second. But just in case they're not all greater than, you can always add these here. This is just that x1 is greater than or equal to 0. This is going to be equal to x2 is greater than or equal to 0. And lastly, I've got x3 Excuse me, equals x3, enter, greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so now I have this set up. I don't really need this file anymore, but I'm going to go over to a solver. So on the top for Excel, click on the Data tab, and then towards the right, this should have been added already. If not, make sure to go to uh, File Add-ins. All right, and I'm going to restore all that. So it's the first time using Solver. 
this is what you should see right here. Set objective. I'm going to click on the objective right there. It's just a zero. The key is a dollar B dollar eight. And we want to maximize this. And by changing cells are going to be three variables. So I've got set objective to max in this example by changing cells, my variables. And now we need to go down here and add my constraints. So I'm going to click on the add button, add the constraints. The first constraints right here, and this is a less than or equal to. The right hand side is a nine. I'm going to click on add. The second constraint, click on here. Now this is a greater than or equal to and click on the two. So make sure you keep track of each constraint as you go. If I click OK, I've added two of them. I gotta add the other four. So I add third constraint. Click on the constraint, greater than or equal to, and the constraint would be five. Add, fourth constraint, greater than or equal to, zero. Add, fifth constraint, greater than or equal to, zero, add, and the last constraint is the third variable, x3 is going to be greater than or equal to zero, click OK. And if you notice right here, I have all my constraints. Uh, let's see, I should be OK with this zero, but I could click on the change right here and make this cool. So I got it all set up now. All my constraints are set up. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a shortcut. You didn't have to do those bottom three constraints because there is an option to make make unconstrained variables non-negative. But there could be some examples where the variables can be negative. So I like entering them in manually. For selecting an option at the bottom, you might uh, you might set up to be non-linear. You want to make sure this says simplex LP. Use the simplex algorithm. And I'm going to click on the solve button. And if you notice over here, these values change. X1 is 900. Zero, zero. We could restore original values. I'll click on OK. And here we have our solution. So the maximum value for this P is 27. Max value for P equals 27 with x1 equals 9, x2 equals 0, and x3 equals 0. So we have our solution right here.